David Cameron is competent, certainly, and he doesn't make that many mistakes. I think PMQs, he's at his best. But I think when he was the, the new young thing, when he was opposite David Davis, there was a freshness about him and he was certainly more relaxed. It's interesting with David Cameron because there is a severity about almost everything he, he says. Whenever he's in front of the cameras, he has the furrowed brow. Um, and he always seems to have the furrowed brow. And then you, you add into that these hands, and it's a real feature. His hands are very much like this when he talks. And he tends to do this when he's talking as well. Now, I don't know what you think that looks like, but for me, it's a, it's a tense and quite defensive gesture. Whereas if he just, you know, used his hands in a much more relaxed fashion, people would feel he was slightly more comfortable with what he was saying and less anxious, I guess. So I think there's an anxiety and a, that he's turned into decisiveness and he does it repeatedly and he, he tends to do this a lot as well when he's speaking. Again, I, I, I'm not sure it's necessary. Or bang on the table in, in interviews, yeah. that kind of thing he often yeah. does. I mean, yeah. I think he's competent, certainly, but I think he lacks the finesse and um, the range, maybe, of someone like Nick Clegg. Or... I guess lots of voters would think, well, OK, he might be frowning a lot, but he's a serious guy. He's the Prime Minister. He's supposed to be serious. Well, of course he's supposed to be serious. But remember, voters are voting for a human. They're not simply voting for somebody who's serious, because then Natalie Bennett will win hands down. They're voting for someone they can relate to. I mean, I don't think David Cameron is awkward, but I think he's quite wooden. That would be my view. Um, and I, I think probably, again, you meet him privately and he's much more fun. I think maybe him and his advisors should take some time out to see how people can see another side to him. Mm. A side to him that's a... Uh, because, you know, at the moment it's getting Britain working. You see him in a hard hat all the time and at some building site talking about British industry, which is amazing. But I think we need to see him enjoying himself a little more so we can feel slightly more optimistic about the recovery. And I think that would be my view.